Hi guys, uh, here it is March. Uh, it's time for us to make another video. Uh, this one is going to be about modifying the small base on the little, what they call a palm router. Now this is a Porter cable. Uh, it's a 450 compact router. And if you've watched our YouTube videos, you've seen Eric working with the DWP611 compact router. And that one, he's already modified. That means he's put the handles on the side. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you how we put the handles on the side, cut the hole in the back, and relieve it back here so that the chips go out and more light comes in. So this, that's what this little router is. This is a little porter cable. And it's a really nice little router. Comes apart easily. The, the bit goes in it easily. It's got, on the front here, it's got a, a lock for the shaft, you just push that in and the shaft locks, one wrench, tighten it up and that's all there is to it. It's got a little groove here that's got to line up with these screws. Then it goes in, clamps down. Now I've taken the base off of it. But this base fits on there. I've taken the base off, and this whole thing is adjustable up and down just by turning this, just by turning this, this uh, screw, the adjusting screw, and that's all literally all there is to it. Now what we're going to do is when when I modify this, set this aside because this is all the modification is going to be. We're going to drill a hole in the back and we're going to mount these handles on it. And we'll do this a step at a time. I was a machinist for almost 30 years, and so working with metal is fairly easy for me. But I'm going to try to make this step-by-step -step easy for you to be able to follow what I do. You're either going to be able to follow what I do, or you're going to be able to take it to a machine shop and have them do it for you. But it's really fairly easy to work with wood if you have the right tool, or to work with metal, I mean, if you have the right tools. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put these handles, we're going to cut this out in the back. We're going to cut it down for the opening. Then we're going to put these two handles on, and that modifies this into the same modification that you see on that DWP router that my son Eric used on that video. So that's all there is for now, and uh, once we get set back up, Everything is going to, be, I'm going to show you what I do with the, uh, with the drill press. I'm going to do it all with a drill press and a hacksaw. Okay, here we go. Now what I've done is I've taken an inch and a half by one inch piece of wood, and I've made marks on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clamp on either side. And this is, this is what's going to hold the, hold the router hold the router shroud while I'm actually drilling it or while I'm cutting it with the okay now you see the way I clamped that on there and I took another little board here and I just made a little bit of a groove just to give me see that goes on there just just right but this board with a little bit of a groove is just enough to hold it and I bring that where it's nice and snug and then I have a little metal block that I put on the inside. Then I use another little clamp and I clamp it. Now, I should have shown you on this, if you look real close, you can see the black mark that I have on there and that's where I want to drill. So what I'll do is I'll loosen this up and I'll slide that I think what I'll do is I'm going to take this off and show you those marks which I should have shown you. Now see these marks? This is back one inch from that mark, which means I'm going to drill a two inch, I'm going to cut a two inch hole in there. And this will be my center. If you can see it, this is the center of the casting, so it's got a nice line there for you to follow. What I'll do is I'll put that on there, and then I'll slide that. So that it's in the center, it's right on that, right on that dark mark that I made there. And I'll reclamp this. Now 
Now that's plenty snug. It's not, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's plenty snug enough to be able to, uh, to be able to get in there and cut that hole. We're coming down right centered on that thing, so that's really all it is. Once I get into it, once I get into where the hole saw is cutting it, then I'll put a little WD-40 on it. The WD-40 is just something to give it a little I'm going to shut this off for just a second. I've got that spinning a little bit too fast. That's it's set for wood. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. We'll just leave the <coughs> leave the camera running. That ain't going to hurt nothing. That's going a lot slower. That's a lot better for metal. You don't need a lot of WD-40 on there. What you want to do is you want to check your clamps from time to time just to make sure nothing's moving. You go very, very slow on it. You don't need to. You don't need to be in a hurry. This is hot metal, actually. It's, it's cut pretty easy. Okay, now that's all there is to cutting the hole. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, then I'm going to clamp it back in again the other way so that you can see me cut with a hacksaw. Okay guys, now you see how we put that hole in there. That's a nice two inch hole and it's right in the center. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up and I'm going to cut this out with a hacksaw. And this is the way I'm going to do it. I've moved this block right to the front of my drill press. And I'll clamp it down again, just to just to give me some stability. Uh, you want to anytime you're working with metal, you want to have it pretty snug. You don't want to you don't want to let it move around a lot. It doesn't take a lot to do this because we're working with with pot metal and it's fairly easy to work with. But you still want to you want to have it where it's pretty good. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it up like this, and it's on that block, then I'm going to use these wood clamps. And these are easy to use, and just get in there against the wood, clamp that on one side, clamp this on the other side, so all you're doing is clamped it against the wood, but it leaves it pretty solid to cut. Now I made a little mark here and a little mark here. You want to be sure that you don't interfere with the where the base plate goes back on. I made a mark there. And all you have to do is take a good sharp hacksaw blade. You don't need to use any oil on this because you're not doing mechanical cutting. You're doing it just with brute strength. And any good, any good grade of hacksaw blade will do this for you. What I do is I get both sides started good. Try not to knock that clamp loose, <laughs> but that's all right. We'll just reclamp it. Maybe. Not really very critical. We just we just want to have something to just, just to keep it from moving around. And the reason we we do both sides is because once you get down close, then it's going to get kind of flimsy in there. So you just want to get close on one.
once you get one of them to cut through like that then you go back over and get the other one and it should be very nearly done so you've got another minute or so a few more strokes of your hacksaw and you're done so that's a uh, Now we have that done, so what, what I do now is I take a, a tool, uh, oh, like a burning tool, and I burnish this to get all of, the, all of the crap off the edges so I don't cut myself. But now, when that's set up, you got plenty of light coming in the back, and you got plenty of place for the sawdust to go out, and that's really all there is to modify in this base. Now, when I get this done, I'm going to go ahead and dress this up. When I get this done, I'm going to clear this bench off, then I'm going to come back and show you how we put those handles on. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. <clears throat> I just want to show you. I took a little Dremel tool with a little grinder on it, <clears throat> a little sand uh, burr remover, and I removed all the burrs off of this so that if you do pick it up, uh, it won't cut your hands. Now I'm going to shut this one down, this particular video. I'm going to turn this down. We're getting pretty close to out of time. Then I'm going to come back and show you how we put the handles on this little dude.